Hello guys and welcome back to Wonder HR. I hope you all are doing fit and fine and preparing for your upcoming interviews. You said you don't have an interview which is coming up. So what? We can always be interview prepared. Prepare yourself, practice more and more. The more you mock, the more genuine you sound. Because if you sound artificial and you're not sure on your answers, you know the consequences. I hope you guys are following the entire series of interview question and answers. If not, I have given the details in the card above and the description. Please box. watch all of them to be interview prepared and to face the interview confidently. So today we are going to cover the question, where do you see yourself five years from now? Wait, hold on. I even don't know where I'm going to be tomorrow. How can I answer this? Of course, these kind of thoughts come in our mind when interview asks us this question. But we don't have an option. We have to answer it. So the first thing we need to understand is why this question is asked by the interview. The very first objective is how long you're going to be in the organization with them. Second is how good you are in your planning and managing. Third is what are your aspirations? What are your desires and ambitions? Whether the company will be able to fulfill that or no. The tips what I'm going to give today is going to be useful for experienced professional as well as for freshers. Tip number one, divide your answer into two parts, talking about today and then talking about future. That means you need to talk about your short term goal now, followed by a long term goal. Tip number two, do not bluff, be realistic. You cannot say to the interviewer that I will be taking your seat in next five years or I will be becoming a managing director of the organization. Be realistic. Tip number three, don't talk about hierarchical growth in the organization that today I am hired as assistant manager. I will be manager then senior manager. No, talk about the increase in your learning curve, increase in the knowledge in the next five years. Talk on what value addition you will get in these five years for the company, for self and for other employees for mutual evolution. The next point, you need to be sounding very positive, passionate, enthusiastic and assertive. I have made a very useful video on Please that. watch that after watching this video. The details I will be giving in the description box below. The next and the last point which is very important is let the interview not get any kind of hint that you're considering this opportunity as a hopping stone or a solution for your unemployment, especially for the freshers. You need to give them the confidence that you're going to be in the organization for long. So we move to the example statements now. Before we move further, if you are new to this channel, I request you to quickly click on the subscribe button there and in the bell icon next to that so that you do not miss on any new videos of mine. And also, if you have found this video useful till now, please click on the like button as well. In the second part, we will be covering the example statements which can be used by you for the interview. But remember, these are just sample answers. You need to put in your value addition and you need to match with your job description to this answer. We move in into the second part of this video where I would be giving you some example statement to answer this question. First, for the freshers. So the interviewer asks you, where do you see yourself five years from now? And you say, my aim is to get this position in this company and get trained myself. Going forward, I want to utilize these learnings for the organization's growth by contributing and taking up bigger projects for which I will be accountable. And at the same time, I wish to explore my real strengths and weaknesses and bridge the gap by enrolling myself in your well-known mentorship program. Simple answer. Second one. I have read a lot about you and your company. I want to learn and enhance my skills under your leadership skills which will make me better and respectful professional on whom the team can rely on. Statement one for experienced professionals. With the role you're offering me, I will get excellent exposure to the market. This is very interesting and exciting opportunity for me as I can enhance my expertise for initial couple of years and gradually I would love to pass on my learning to other associates. Thereafter, if given an opportunity, I also want to widen up my role to additional function which will increase my capabilities and will make me a better professional for you. Statement two for experienced professional. For initial two years, I like to perfect the role of HR manager, get to know the employees, implement best practices and make this place 
an employer by choice and in the long run i like to get more leadership responsibilities in which i can enhance my business partnering skills what if after this suddenly the interviewer ask you what are your strengths and weaknesses no worry i have an answer for that as well the details are given in the description box below please do watch that video do not mug any answers please and sound like a robot the person sitting in front of you is also a human being so give a human touch to your answer understand the tip and the trick and frame your answer in the right way suiting to your role department hierarchy and the industry all the very best and to let me know what is your answer to where do you see yourself 5 years from now in the comment section below thank you very much do not forget to subscribe and like if you have found this video useful visit me on www.wonderhr follow me on youtube facebook and pinterest and keep learning Thank you.